Capital murder suspect Cedric Marks was back in court today for another pretrial hearing. This time, the court discussed Marks representing himself, his standby counsel, and his access to telephones. Six News anchor Bailey Bates sat in on the hearing this afternoon. She joins me now live from the Six Newsroom with the biggest takeaways. Bailey, what did you learn? Chris, it was a patched courtroom today filled with law enforcement, prosecutors, and many family and friends of Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen, the two Marks is accused of killing. The capital murder trial has continued to get pushed back as more requests and motions come in from Marks as he represents himself. Today, Marks told the judge that he will continue representing himself and never hand it back to the regional public defender's office as trust has been broken on his end. Even though at a prior hearing, he said he felt forced to defend himself. Himself. Marks also requested local defense attorney John Galligan to be added to his standby counsel to help with any legal questions he has. The judge did grant that with no opposition. There was also a big discussion about what kind of access to free unrecorded calls Mark should have, which then turned into a debate about him being considered a high risk inmate. We have lots more to dive into tonight on six, six news at 10, and we hope you'll join us then, Chris. Yeah, getting one step closer to trial here. looks like all that's got to get negotiated out ahead of time. Bailey Bates, thanks for your report.